Uh, we had a good day of testimony today, and we have a uh, full complement of witnesses scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, the judge's ruling this morning was the right ruling. There's a lot of very uh, complex legal issues in this case that are a first impression uh, due to the forfeiture by wrongdoing uh, legislation and the new rules of evidence. Judge Bermill is being very careful with each and every step. I think we're, uh, we're, they haven't laid a glove on us yet. I mean, I, every time they put up a witness, in this case, after the cross-examination, I, I wonder why they call him because he keeps, uh, they keep verifying more and more that this is nothing but a household accident, that Drew had nothing to do with it, he was nowhere near the house, that he wasn't in, was barely inside of it, that he was barely in the bathroom, that he left immediately after. Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to figure out why they're calling these witnesses, and I still can't do it. Um, you know, I think it was really good to see the judge not bow to what appeared to be the screaming demands of the defense uh, attorney. So, you know, we have a trial that's full and strong going forward. I, I think it's important that they, you know, they keep bringing up the towel issue. You know, these little details, you know, they seem little at the time, but, you know, those things are important in the long run, the light in the bathroom, the towel. I mean, someone had to be there turning these things on and off and placing them there. So I think as this trial continues, we're going to see, you know, more of that and how Drew was, you know, the primary person who could have been the one doing that.